go Ben go I can't believe how much Ben has changed I still remember when it all first began In the beginning Ben was a totally different person Something had to be done to change his unhealthy lifestyle In came Angel who always had Ben's best interest at heart Hey Ben it doesn't seem like you're doing anything healthy by snacking on all this food. But the devil was never far off. Oh, don't listen to him. What does he know? Enjoy life, brother. Eat away. No, no, no. All this snacking may seem harmless now, but you will regret it later. Uh-huh. What do you mean, I will regret it later? Well, these snacks are very unhealthy because they are full of fats and cholesterol. If you eat too much of such food, it can lead to hyperlipidemia. Hey, Ben. Don't be won over by such big words. Just ignore him. Shh. What is hyperlipidemia? Hyperlipidemia means high levels of lipids in our blood. Lipids are fatty substances found in our body such as triglycerides and cholesterol. If you have high levels of lipids, especially cholesterol, it can clog up your blood vessels. Wait, wait. What is cholesterol exactly? Cholesterol is a waxy fat-like substance that our liver naturally produces. It is also absorbed from the food that we eat. Excess cholesterol gets deposited on the inside walls of our blood vessels, blocking them and reducing blood flow. This can increase our risk of getting coronary heart disease and maybe even a stroke. Oh please, coronary heart disease and stroke only strike the old. Look at you, you are young and fit, nothing to worry about. That's not true. High cholesterol does not discriminate. It can affect anyone of any age. In fact, did you know that 1 in 8 Singaporeans have high cholesterol levels? That's because more people are leading unhealthy lifestyles, just like you, Ben. Okay, you've got me nervous now. I'm going to find out more about this cholesterol thing. Cholesterol is transported in the bloodstream as lipoproteins. There are two main types of lipoproteins. The good, HDL, is high-density lipoprotein, and the bad, LDL, is low-density lipoprotein. LDL carries cholesterol from the liver to different parts of the body. That is where all the trouble starts. When you have too much LDL, the cholesterol builds up and deposits on the walls of your arteries to form atherosclerotic plaque. Over time, your arteries clog up, causing coronary heart disease and stroke. HDL, on the other hand, carries excess cholesterol from different parts of the body to the liver to be processed. Having high levels of HDL can reduce health risks. Apart from obesity and lack of physical activity, other factors can also increase cholesterol levels such as an unhealthy diet comprising of too much fats and cholesterol and not taking enough fiber. Certain illnesses may also affect cholesterol levels. And if there's one temptation that Ben absolutely can't resist, it's food. Psst, check out the Kway Teow at that stall. Yummy! Or you can go for fried chicken fried rice or curry chicken. Tasty and delicious. Yeah, they all look good. Wait, those dishes may look yummy, but they're full of unhealthy fat. Why don't you go for something simple yet delicious like sliced fish soup or fishball noodles in soup? Boring. Come on, Ben, don't listen to him. You deserve to treat yourself to something good. And I think Curry chicken is a great choice! Yeah, no. you're right. Curry chicken it is. <laughs> yes! One for the devil, zero for the angel! While Ben thinks he made the right choice, it's actually bad for him in the long run. <laughs> Third. <laughs>
Too much fatty food and too little exercise can lead to unhealthy weight gain, not to mention higher levels of bad cholesterol. Diets play a huge role in determining our cholesterol levels. There are essentially three different aspects of our diet that can affect your cholesterol level. The amount and type of fats in your diet, the amount of cholesterol in your diet, the amount of fiber in your diet. Let's take a look at what that means. Starting with fats. There are four types of fats present in food. Saturated, polyunsaturated, monounsaturated, and trans fats. Saturated fat is the unhealthy fat which increases the level of LDL cholesterol in your blood. This can be found in meat fat, poultry skin, full cream dairy products, butter, ghee, coconut milk, palm oil and other mixed vegetable oils, three-in-one beverages, crema, instant noodles, and even buns. Polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats is considered healthier fats and can lower LDL cholesterol levels. Foods containing these fats include mackerel, tuna, salmon, avocado, most nuts and seeds. For healthier cooking alternatives, use oils high in monosaturated fats like olive and canola oil. Or oils high in polyunsaturated fats like sunflower and soybean oil. Then there is trans fats. Trans fats are chemically modified unsaturated fats and are commonly found in fast food, biscuits, chocolates and pastries. They increase LDL, the bad cholesterol in our body, and decrease HDL, the good cholesterol in our body. As a result, eating trans fats actually increases our risk of getting heart disease and stroke. No! So, we should always try to consume the healthier fats. But remember, all fats are high in calories. So always take them in moderation. Eating foods high in cholesterol will also affect our cholesterol levels. In fact, cholesterol can only be found in food of animal origin. Now, foods with high cholesterol content include egg yolks, fatty meat, organ meat, seafood like squid and shellfish. So eat them in small quantities. And remember, limit yourself to four egg yolks a week of course, it's best to have a daily diet that includes foods high in fiber, like vegetables, fruits, and whole grain products. Foods high in fiber, especially soluble fiber, like barley, oats, peas, and beans, can also help reduce your cholesterol level. No! Believe me, Ben, prevention is always better than cure. Come on, Ben. Give it a try. Well, it doesn't taste that bad. It tastes quite good, actually. It's good that you're learning to appreciate healthier food. But don't forget to exercise too. Exercising increases your HDL, which helps to reduce your risk of coronary heart disease and stroke. It also helps to manage your weight. If you're not sure where to start, try building up your activity level by slowly incorporating some exercise into your normal routine. For example, climb the stairs instead of taking the lift. Or alight one stop earlier when taking the bus. It is possible to include healthy changes to your life. Just take it one step at a time. But if making changes to your lifestyle doesn't bring your cholesterol level down, then your doctor might need to prescribe medication for you. Different cholesterol levels require different treatments, so it's best to consult your doctor. And remember, everyone should go for regular checkups to monitor their cholesterol levels. 
Maintaining a healthy lifestyle is very important too. You can't beat them, join them. Hey, wait up! <laughs>